Yo, 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 dude. I gotta go tell the Supreme Council though, because the hippies have found a hip town will be dead soon, like so soon, buddy. Hey, what up, Jora? How's what that up? Baby coming? It's coming pretty fun. He's gonna be the false newborn in many years. Hey, what are you gonna call him? Maybe cow hell. Your vile kindness. I am here to talk to you about the horrible fate of planet hip time. If you want to talk to me, then open the damn curtain. Yo, 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 what up, buddy? Oh, Lord, Star Dog, Planet Hip Time is going to explode in like, like, like. Whoa, oh, dude, dude, you're making my people scared with this explosion talk. Here, take a chill pill. Thanks, General Zod, but what is the chill pill? Dude, listen to this. Is weed in pill form? <laughs> oh crap, the baby's coming. I'll talk to you later about the explosion, Lord Stoner. Six hours later. Baby's been born. He's so beautiful. Hey, Jorel, how's the baby coming? Ugh, is this it? It's so ugly. Totally doesn't look like a pothead to me. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get my son safe to planet Earth because my plant's exploding so he can restart the hippie population. Bye bye, son. General Zod, you'll be in cryo junkie frozen for spinning on the first natural birth baby on planet Hipton in like a million years. I'll get you, son of Jor El! I'll get you! Ten hours later on Earth. Alright, Martha, I'm just going to plant some crops. Hmm. What the buckaroo is this? Looks like the aliens have sent us a new little critter. Or maybe the gods have sent us the critter too. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty big. Nice yeah. underwear he's got there. Let's take him in. Hey, from now on, you'll be called Clark, all right, little kid? <laughs> Martha, we got a baby. And he's grown for the first time, too. We got to get this little guy some clothes. Can't be prancing around naked. I just gave you some clothes, little boy. Go put them on. Whoa, not only was he sent by aliens, but he can stand up, too. Hi. Whoa, what? He's a baby and he can talk too? My name is... Wait a second. I don't have a name. Yeah, you do. I just told you before. Your name's Clark J. Kent. You got any more superpowers? Uh, I don't know. Alright, well, let's see if we can find some more things you can do. Well, there is one talent I know I have. Oh boy, oh boy. What is it? Well, I can turn on the TV. That's insane. Alright, let's head into the backyard and see if you can do anything else. Alright, we're going to need to find out some of your powers. So, uh, let's start off. Do you have super speed? Uh, let's test it. Go! <laughs> this is incredible. Whoa, my god, like that? You could win every single marathon and get us lots of money. Do you have super strength? Oh my lord. He really does. 
This guy's a natural. <gasps> what happened? Oh, okay. Do you have x-ray vision? Yes. You have a belly button right over here. Hmm, let's see. Oh my god! How do you know? Hey Clark, why don't you take a seat for now? Oh, alright, alright. No, 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 not that seat. This is my lecture seat. You have to sit there. You see, Clark, you're amazing. And I've never seen anyone who can do the things that you do. You have to keep your powers a secret to the public. Alright? Mm -hmm. Because if you're ever in school one day and some kid's uh, lunch, his pastrami sandwich is too cold and you say, oh, I'll heat that up for you and use your heat vision, you're going to get in trouble. Even if, even if that pastrami sandwich is really good and it's melting your mouth. Okay, I got to go make a pastrami sandwich. But the bottom line is do not tell anyone about your powers. Okay? Yes, Daddy. I love pastrami. It is 10 years later. Clark is now 10 years old. All right, Clark, you've been alive for 10 years. He's still fitting that shirt. And I feel like going from father son football. Alright, so using your strength, super speed, and x-ray vision, you can probably get this done. Alright? Yes. <laughs> oh. Okay. Let's just play with the ball, then. You pitch. You know, Clark, you want to start using this the right way, alright? Now, I'm going to throw this ball. And you're going to have to run and go get it using your super speed, okay? Right? <sighs> Dang it, Clark. Some kids just don't know how to play ball. Oh! Clark, that was... God, Clark, you may be bad at sports, but your talents are just flawless. Seven more years later, when Clark is 17 years old. Martha, I'm going to plant some crops. Man, Clark's such a nice boy these days. He's already in high school. I can't believe it. Oh, looks like there's a storm up there. Oh, God. Dog's over there. No, 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 no. Uncle! Uncle! You can't go out there, Clark! There's a storm! But Get in uncle. here! The storm... The storm took him away. Where are you going, Clark? I'm going to Planet Hipton to find more about my family. Because now, since Uncle How can dead, you go to Planet Hipton? No, I'm going to find out more about it. Now that my uncle is dead, I have no more family. Clark, you can't go! There's even a storm outside! No! What is this place? Better lock it for safety. Cal L. What the? It is your father, Jorel. I am a hologram that could never have possibly been placed here because I died on planet Hipton. But you were the first natural birth on planet Hipton for years. Over a million years, probably, but I really don't care. Anyway, I have left you a suit to use. As you know, since being on Earth, you have many superpowers. Here, on this shirt that you have right there, and on this cape, is the symbol of justice, tranquility. Actually, I'm just making this crap up. It's just a normal S, except Man of Steel made it seem like something more. Put it on. Using this suit, I will bring power and justice to all and save everybody from the evil that comes. I am Superman!